Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Welcome to another video from oil and gas training. My dear friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Welcome to another uh, video from uh, oil and gas training. We are now discussing about uh, basic instrumentation and the control system. This is the fourth video from uh, basic instrumentation. In this video, we are discussing about uh, flow, flow and uh, what is the definition of flow, various unit involved within flow, how we can measure flow, what is the application uh, flow uh, process variable in uh, process operation. So welcome to this video. Flow rate. The flow rate is the quantity of fluid passing through vessel or meter or pipeline per unit time. Two types of flow rates are widely used in process industries. One, mass flow rate. It is the mass or quantity passing through vessel or meter or pipeline per unit time. It is expressed in kilogram per minute, that is kg per minute or pounds per second or lb per second or any other suitable unit in the, uh, in the uh, kg per or uh, uh, representing mass and time. Another important uh, fluoride is uh, uh, using is uh, volumetric fluoride. It is the volume of fluid passing through vessel or meter or pipeline per unit time. So it is expressed in cubic centimeter per second like a centimeter cube per second or cubic meters or meter cube per second or uh, meter cube per day or any other suitable unit representing in uh, uh, meter meter or uh, vol volume uh, or liter and divided by any suitable unit of uh, second minute day or whatever it is. In the oil industry, the flow rate of crude oil is expressed as uh, barrels per day and the flow rate of gas is expressed in uh, standard cubic feet per day SCFD. Let us discuss uh, uh, various type of uh, flow measuring uh, devices. Flow measuring devices uh, which are commonly used in industry are uh, orifice plate uh, flow meter, venturi type meter, pit tube meter, flow meter, turbine flow meter, rotameter, vortex flow meter and uh, magnetic flow meters. Most commonly used uh, flow measuring device is uh, orifice uh, flight meter. It is an indirect flow meter. Uh, in the picture it is uh, showing that orifice uh, plate is uh, connected in between the pipeline. It is creating a differential pressure across the orifice plate is measured and uh, calibrated into flow rate. So in the upstream of the orifice plate is measuring uh, high pressure P, say P1 and downstream is P2. Orifice is creating a differential pressure, so P1 minus P2. The differential pressure is proportionate to the flow rate using some mathematical calculation. So more differential pressure is there, more flow rate is there. It's a most commonly used one. Uh, high pressure line it is using, less maintenance, uh, very easy to install and uh, most of the time uh, better better accurate reading as well. Another type is uh, Venturi meter. It is also same like uh, working principle is uh, same like uh, orifice plate. Differential pressure across, uh, across uh, the Venturi is measured and uh, calibrated into flow rate. Smooth conical shape is provided to avoid any turbulence or vortex. So you can see from the picture that one uh, uh, Venturi type uh, flow measuring devices. Venturi can meter can handle liquid and solid particles, uh, dirty liquids or uh, low pressure application, Venturi meter is applicable. Another type of flow, uh, flow measuring device is a turbine flow meter. In turbine flow meter, a rotor with a diameter almost equal to the pipe internal diameter is supported by two bearings to allow, to allow free rotation. A magnetic pickup mounted on the pipe detects 
the passing of the rotor blades generating a frequency proportional to the volumetric flow rate of flow. Generally used to measure the flow rate of oil and water streams in a three phase separator turbine flow meter. Also uh, TFM is uh, using in uh, crude oil export uh, purposes export meters or uh, uh, metering stations very very accurate uh, reading can provide this one. Another type of uh, uh, flow measuring device uh, is uh, positive displacement flow meters or uh, PD meter. Uh, positive displacement meter uh, separates the incoming fluid into a series of uh, non discrete volume then uh, totalizes the number of volumes in a known length of time. A common type of person PD meter flow meters are rotary vanes or oval gear generally used to measure the flow rate of treated crude oil and potable water supply. In this picture you can see how this uh, uh, PD meters are working that uh, mechanism is working and uh, the uh, another picture it is showing that uh, the connected dial system uh, in the uh, one side of the meter can give a direct reading of the flow in uh, respected units and the bottom picture is uh, all uh, various uh, five steps or four steps how a fluid entering and various uh, movements uh, shown in that picture. So just to read uh, carefully and understand how this uh, working. Another type of, uh, type of flow meter is a rotameter. Rotameter is simple low cost direct reading indicator for measuring flow of liquid and gases. It is used to on clean low viscosity fluids the position of the float represent a flow rate. Another type is a vortex flow meter an obstruction called a bluff body is fitted to cause turbulence in the flow stream. Vortices are produced from the edges of the bluff body at a frequency proportional to the flow rate. This type of flow meter having no moving part and is suitable for measuring liquid flowing at a high velocity. In the picture it is showing a flow transmitter. So the bottom side is a valve which inside it is connected to flow measuring devices and the upper side is a transmitter. So the flow signal is receiving in any type of direct or indirect reading receiving from the flow measuring devices. It is a it can convert into electronic signal for various other purpose or transmit reading indicating record or whatever it is. So this is a typical flow transmitter. So next time when you go to the field you just go to near any flow measuring devices a transmitter understand the various constructional details and how the reading is there and checking with the instrumentation friends about what are the different features of this one. Another type of flow meter is the magnetic flow meter. Magnetic flow meter works on the principle of electromagnetic induction and is used for electrically conductive liquids and slurries. Magnetic flow meter generate a magnetic field perpendicular to the flow stream and measures the voltage produced the fluid passing through the meter and detected by electrodes. The voltage produced is proportional to the average velocity of the volumetric flow rate of the conductive fluid. The meter has no moving part and is unaffected by change in fluid viscosity and pressure. These are the another pictures uh, connected uh, representing the constructional details of a magnetic flow meter and the bottom picture is a magnetic flow meter is connected to a flow transmitter. So you can read and you can uh, uh, convert into a suitable pneumatic or uh, or, uh, or uh, uh, electronic signal here it is electronic signal and you can transmit to uh, control room. Thank you for watching this video. So we will uh, complete uh, we will come back uh, with uh, another video for various uh, uh, instrumentation basic uh, understanding. So please subscribe this channel as uh, for uh, timely updation and informations. So thanks for watching and uh, definitely we will come back with another video soon. Thank you.